right now. However, on the mainstream, we have a, a losers matchup going on right now. I'm going to try to do our okay. best to commentate for but it. Enough that, but right. we'll go into this Emu Killer versus Aiden matchup. So two players that are on the same exact uh, rankings, NY and Jay, they're two powerhouses. Emu is more of a national threat than Aiden. Aiden's more of like a on the rise kind of guy, but showing right now why he, he needs has, to be taken seriously. Uh, he's got quite a bit of good wins. He, he's beat he, he, he Venom. to zero to two. Wow. Like you were saying, he beat Venom earlier. No, he, he beat Venom earlier. Uh, I forget. He beat, he just beat me to get here, I think. Wow. And I think he beat one more person. He's not a slouch at all. You've been doing, yeah, you've he, been looking incredibly well today. So like, <coughs> really good stuff by Aiden right here. So uh, into the first stock. All right, let's see. It. Ooh, right that there. was an Yo, excellent I player. Love him. He uh, he's really good at conditioning his opponent. He's like a tech chase heavy player, and what he does, he noticed how uh, players love to just stay on the ledge because it's a good option. To get you want to grab the ledge, make the king get back. Oh, Emu Color didn't realize he didn't have any of his jumps, and when he tried to reverse up beat, it was just too late. He was too low, and he lost his stock. Jackie. Yeah, that's like the tricky thing about that's the tricky thing about Meta Knight is that like you can if you use your special, you lose all of your jumps. Right. So. If you, you can not see yourself hit the ground, and when you think you you hit the ground, you or you don't think your special came out, right? You, and so you think you have your jumps, and then when you try to jump when you're like even with the ledge, you just keep falling. And like, oh, it's really hard to react that, quickly that to still recover. That cognizance is even just like, takes it to the metal. Sometimes you can't really react to it. But uh, Aiden doing a really good job right here of maintaining the lead that he's, that he's built so far. Even though uh, we got some induced SDs, Aiden's been applying pressure really well. And after the zero to death, he's kind of continued the same sort of trend that we've uh -huh. seen earlier in this match. Oh, all right, uh, that, that, that was an okay cape. Uh, <laughs> but that's good. Uh, we talking uh, six out of ten down here. To help him grab the six light. out of ten here. Five out of, five out of ten. What are we looking at? All right, but so far, Aiden's up three stocks to one against one of, like, the big contenders for Olympus right now. Yeah, Number three on the New York PR. Is that correct? Uh, check, check us if we wrong. You know how it goes. We're just trying to get you out of effects. A really strong player. Uh, has a bunch of really, really amazing wins uh, just because on the level of opponent that he uh -huh. is. And Aiden is showing right now. He's trying to enter uh, into that realm. For a lot of well, Aiden's been one of those people, like, kind of on the cuff. He's always had really good wins, but struggled to maintain consistency uh, yeah. against higher level opponents. That's um, understandable. But Emu Kill has been having a tough time edge running Aiden. Aiden. Aiden has been uh, mixed up his recovery so well. Yeah, and that's, that's like I said, that's one of his special attributes. He has different mix-ups for his mix-ups. So sometimes, like you saw earlier, he'll jump back and fair. Sometimes he'll try to get below you and up you when you get your uh, out of your invisibility frame. So it's like good stuff on him, just not getting in the same pattern, not getting too predictable right here. And like that was such a good way to get back on stage. Maybe because was just holding shield, waiting for, looking for the fair from Edge, but Aiden just like drifts past him, gets him, gets him the reverse up air, and then just run, yeah, run, runs away, runs away to get claim center stage, and now. It's gained him this uh, positional advantage against Emikola right now, and Emikola is just wow. one fair away the from right there. losing game number one. And this is a best of three, so Aiden just needs one more to eliminate Emikola from this tournament. He's feeling pretty good right now. I know Aiden has been like on a tear today. He's been grinding it out recently, just trying to figure out uh, just, you know, all the little ways to optimize his, his gameplay. Yeah, it's but, really been showing, But man. even if Emikola loses to Aiden now, he still won a, a bet against Venom. He had to outplace Venom oh, in order to get well, Venom to buy him a beer. Well, that's done. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to drink that beer right after this. Okay, here comes Emukilla's tech chasing. Right, start right there. And the cross cancel right there. It was a really smart idea. He knew he was probably going to uh, do something far away. in place. That's such a classic Zero Suit thing to do. It's just when you're in a tech chase situation, you spot dodge up tilt. It's, it's basically like spot dodge time. Reframe, man. Spaces. It's a really good attack. <laughs> And because it has a hitbox that spreads, it can kind of catch you on both sides. This player's having a little bit of fun with each other right now. <laughs> yeah, Emu Killer, I'm not sure if he's familiar with uh, or like very can control like the cape very well to do the tether killer. Where if a tether lands on stage, you have enough time to do a reverse cape. You cape and then you turn your cape around to hit the tether back off stage. I know Emu Killer is like he, he, he prides himself on a lot of playing. He, he plays the neutral really well. It's one of his. He doesn't really make too many uh, just bad mistakes when he gets hit. He has a really good combo DI, and that kind of keeps him out of like the shaky situation that he would need to start doing stuff like that. Uh -huh. Oh, and Ooh, a fair right there. Read that that's jump, good stuff. That's exactly what Aiden did to win our, win our set against me. Uh, he up threw me, and I thought I was safe, and then he just jumped fair, and I didn't realize he'd be able <laughs> right. to connect with yeah, that. He's trying and to look for you. I guess I'm a stock here. 
But now he's stuck right. in a touchy situation. So <laughs> taking a page out of Dusty's book is really, uh, really patient with Shadow Wait. <laughs> Evil Killer having none of it. Just oh, that was an that excellent dare. Yeah, that hitbox took everything he had in his lunchbox. <laughs> kind of threw that shit on the ground. Meta Knight looking like a lunchbox bully right now. No bullying. Emu Killer starting his off with the crouch cancel down tilt. Beating seriously. Oh, um, down tilt. His here crouch goes cancel again. has uh, been just really, really overpowering this matchup. We've seen Aiden struggle to get Meta Knight to higher percents. You know, he needs to get that mid percent where Meta Knight isn't able to crouch cancel and stuff like that because he does fall kind of fast relatively to other characters. Yeah, but the problem is, like, Meta Knight can actually crouch cancel a lot of Zeus moves, like, fairly high. Even still with the percent. Uh huh. Even at, like, 64%. Zeus is still susceptible to crouch cancel. I think that may be why uh, this, this match is going Ooh. so much. So Emiko got a little greedy so and he didn't hit the ground, so he's got no jump. Okay, he's able to land on the platform to get his jump That was back. a good recognition. If you don't have a jump, why not go for another move? That's going to bring you back pretty far. Yeah, I think Aiden needs to react a little better to that because Meta Knight has a hard time sweet spotting edge. And if you see Meta Knight enter his tornado, he's going to have a lot of end lag. So he can just uh, ledge dash on stage and then just wait for Emiko to land somewhere. And if you think he's going to fade back to stage, you just wave dash back and right. land on stage. Yeah, wave dash back. You need it. But get the invisible right there. So keeping these edge guards going on this stage that is allowed to let him live longer. And Evil Killer showing a disparity between the first match and two. I think that's the, been a deciding factor. You know, uh, Aiden was able to do a good job of killing him the first match in addition to his SD. So yeah. um, a stage like this where crowd canceling, you know, it comes into play. Even at mid percent, you're not killing Meta Knight anytime soon. So he's kind of breaking your stuff even when you think he shouldn't. Oh, yeah, right now, Evil Killer has Aiden stuck in the corner. But Aiden... Aiden was able to sneak in a fair to put himself in an advantageous <laughs> position to yeah, help him like even out this gap that he's throwing out some stuff real quick. has built. And start to do what Evil Killer's been doing a little, showing a little bit of patience on these tech chase situations. I like it, but the Batman cape coming out too fast. Uh, I'm actually surprised he didn't see up there. Ooh, alright, you was talking about that reverse okay. <laughs> that reverse cape showing it right there. Oh, um, Aiden got a little greedy throwing out that fair. There wasn't enough ISO frames for him to do these upbeats for him to still latch onto ledge without any more jumps. He needed a couple more just I as a frames coming a little bit too late for so him. Now we're at one one. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I lo love the camaraderie. Tills getting asked, like "What would, uh, what would?" So the question was, Evil Killer asked uh, Tills, our, our resident dope Meta Knight man. Shout out to his video if you haven't seen his Instagram, uh, the Mission of Cape video, guys. Uh, Evil Killer asked him what Tills were bans, and could you like give the audience a little bit into what I, you were thinking? I just told him to ban Warrior Wear and Green Hill. Well, <laughs> what the heck? Maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe he's fine with playing on the stage yeah, yeah, because uh, Meta Knight's cape can kill Zero Suit very quickly, but. Seriously, also thrives at just carrying people, comboing people horizontally, and then finishing up with uh, a fair to get those like really early percentage kills. Yeah, that's what you want. Those early kills uh, to do a better job because um, Zero can kind of get to the Marcin Joes if you don't land certain attacks like fair and bear. Oh, that was an excellently timed yeah. there, calling out Aiden's downbeat down. to try to land on stage. Yeah, so Zero will either try to recover low, use the wall, and try to like mix up their opponent, or we're going to try to use all of their jumping resources. Their jump, their down B, and their air dodge. Just to make sure they get back to either get on stage or get into a position where you can't really figure out what they're going to do so that they can side B or up B to the stage. You do want to keep that ambiguity, uh, and that's why laying on the stage is such a good option. Uh, is doing it. A decent job just making sure Aiden can't do too, anything too much in neutral. Yeah, he's covering he's covering his options really well. That's what I've seen so far. Like, I don't know. Oh, jeez, that 95% <laughs> wow. kill. Like, that's it, that was like off just a two-hit combo. Just, and, and that's what Zero Suit is. He kind of gets like an up tilt into something really beat it. Yo, know, if you can't SDI the first hit of Fair to not get hit by the second, but um, not doing it right there. It's just getting clipped. There, there is Aiden goes again. He just does the drift forward, reverse up air, the dash of the way to get to safety and clean center stage. And Evil Killer is just Ooh, letting him do that right twice. Oh, oh, oh. He came in place. My man with the Lavar Burton reads. All right, reading Rainbow out there, fans. Where you at? Oh, oh coming in a little bit too fast. What you doing, fam? This space dash it just a little bit. And <laughs> gets punished slightly, but yeah. Aiden can't do much with it. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but when you when you, you take what you can get, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. All right. All right, and it should be still be alive. Reverse hit there, but it was, it was a good oh, All right, that was a that sick was up B. Air dodge. That man got the influenza of bees coming out. And yet Excellent again, 
clipping him out of that. Out that, of that air covered all oh, of the air dodges <laughs> positioning. The only thing that probably would have saved Aiden is if the weak hit hit him on stage instead of off stage like that. Yeah, but, but I don't think he, he even wanted he could, to go on stage in that situation. Yeah, right there. well, because he, he used all of his jump resources. He didn't have any more way, any more ways to boost himself yeah, up and refresh, stop his falling momentum, or, or do something that was safe. Everything that he had right oh, Aiden with a great call out. This stage is doing so many things for Aiden that the that the second stage didn't do. Um, the walls are so much closer. It's not really so much been the ceiling like Dreamland was. It's been more so the blast zones in relation to the side of the stage have really been helping Aiden out. These up tilt fairs, down tilt fairs, a oh, man fairs in the building. Uh, He's showing some gusto right now. Wow, that bear actually reached so far high. And now Aiden, I think, has only one more recovery. Ooh. Right. But able to land on stage. Situation. There's no jump, even because no jump. That was amazing oh. reaction right there. That was just completely off of reaction. It was a really good option, too, with that Delta. That was a really tight situation for both players. Like, Aiden calling out the side beat from Emu Killer mm -hmm. with the down smash. And he, I don't know what he followed up with. He only followed it up yeah. up there, so he didn't really hit Emu Killer that far off. So he had it still a good chance to recover. Yeah, but in now those situations where you fumble, you kind of have to recall for your fumble. Sometimes, like, all right, I messed up. Let me try to overshoot it. Maybe try to do something else. But it's still close. It's getting better. I see. Like, I'm talking about Excellent. that. Down tilt fair. Yeah, down tilt and only hitting with the second hit of fair. So Emu Killer had no chance of no, smash Jay out of the fair. second hit of fair. Yeah. Looking like a young fox out there. Fox goddess. Amaterasu, where are you at? Look, you need some help right here. 74% to zero. Now, um, zero That was such a good full hop, baiting out the short hop up, up, uh, short hop in the air, but Aiden wasn't able to confirm anything off of it. Right, there's he go. Oh, man, that was a great use of that wall jump right there. It just, he hasn't used it in that capacity all game, and that's why I caught Emo Killer off guard right there. I think Menai just uh, ducked under Zero Suit's grab. That looked really weird to me. I didn't Great think like that was that. possible for Meta. Failing the tech. Great wait for reaction. the getup. Wow. Great reaction from either kill to that clean up good. that set, winning it 2 1. My man reacted Aiden. raw. Like, that was, <laughs> it was no kind of read involved in that. That was just all nerves, clutch skill. Okay, so off stream, we have.